Uh, hello everybody and welcome back to some FTB Skies Expert Mode. How you guys doing today? I hope you are doing well. I am. And I've double checked, rechecked, and checked again to make sure that we had sound on this. So hopefully everything goes alright and we're ready to go. So, but uh, to kind of overview the last couple videos, uh, we made Volatile Redstone, we made Raw Silver, we made uh, the Cetalahide, we made Molten Silver, we made Fenlick Resin, we done made our little Crusher Buddy that's here. We got into our Mage Bloom Seeds uh, and the Mage Bloom Fibers. Uh, what else did we do? We got into some one of our thermal machines and it took a long time to get our induction smelter, but we have it now. And then we made Electrum. Uh, and I've not done anything since then other than get uh, a couple of machine frames together ready for today. And that is what we are going to do. We're just going to go ahead and get back into making our thermal machines that we were going to make. So first things first is our fluid encapsulator. This actually shouldn't be that baddish. Uh, one, two, three, four. We're going to need gears for that. We're going to need some immersive engineering, light engineering blocks. Shizzes. So, this guy. Uh, nope, nope, nope. This guy. Um, yeah, we're going to need a lot more iron plates. And we'll get those going and I'll be back. Alright, so back at it. There's that. We need those guys, and that should be everything we need for it. Beautiful. We should have some more of our glass there, and we need... I might as well go ahead and do a bunch of gold plates. We're going to need a few of them anyway, so... We've got to where we're keeping iron on hand. We might as well keep some gold on hand while we're at it. This is so much nicer now that we've got ways of making this faster. Everything seems to be faster now, which is nice. I'll be glad when we get to the next tier stuff. And we can pull away from create and from our pneumatic craft stuff all right so there's those we can do that uh we don't have to go over there we can stand right here and do this and we can do we need well, we got to go over anyways i need redstone let's grab us um half of that we'll make all of these those and we just need to get our copper gears and then we'll worry about the reservoir uh, let's see that on one two three four one two three four beautiful all right, now, so for our reservoir, we're going to need to make cured rubber. And to get cured rubber, we're going to need rubber. And to get rubber, we can just do a latex bucket. I was not looking to do that. I was going to do it the hard way, I guess. Uh, I've got dandelions that we were going to use. Those can go back over here in this chest. Uh, but we'll see if this works, because if this works, that makes life a lot simpler. We are going to need to get another bucket put there. Uh, three rubber. That's awesome. So that solves that problem really easily. We can throw those guys in there. And all we need is a couple things. We need glass. Which... We have run out of glass. I need to get some glass going. All right, glass squared away, cured rubber squared away. We should be just about ready to do this. We need 
that guy there reservoir and our fluid encapsulator beautiful we can throw this guy over here amongst our stuff and we can we've got a hardened component we can throw in it and we're going to work towards what we need for this and that is I don't have a bucket no more I don't think I need a bucket though um So our phenolic resin, and then we need some paper, and I got in here to get our, oh I did get it, okay. So a fluid encapsulator, we should be able to do that. We should be able to do all of that. And that's got that in it. We can throw the paper in it and boom, we're getting Duraplast sheets. It's a 200 per sheet. So that should give us about 10 of these maybe. Sounds about right. And like I said, with these, we can use them to make the advanced electric components. But the most important thing is going to be the circuit back pane and our simple machine frames when we get to that point. So there we go. Goal reached modern materials. Quest reached. We get nothing. So the circuit breakers, we just need to get some copper. Uh, for the time being, we'll just go ahead and use all of them. We're not ready to do the other part of this yet. We'll just have to make some more when we get to that point. Uh, I've already got that. So I have noticed here lately that I've got critters spawning somewhere and I don't know exactly where it's at I have gone over everything the only spot that I see that is not lit up is behind our chest back there uh, but we seen the red X that was right here I went AFK for like two minutes and I turned around and come right back and I was dead and there was a zombie and a skeleton standing over me and I have no idea why so, but we can throw these guys in there and throw these guys in there and then that gives us our circuit back pains and that give us a bunch of something. Oh, that gives us the workbench and that's for the automated workbench, which we don't necessarily need right now. We can worry about that later, but then we got our logic circuits which is our next bit with this. We're going to need that for empty PCBs and basic control circuits, which will get us into some of the mechanism stuff, but we're not ready for that yet. We're going to go back to our fractioning still. So let's put some stuff up. Um, yeah, we're getting our... We're running out of space here. So that can go up. Uh, and the cured rubber can go up. And I think that's good enough for now. We're ready to move on about a business. That one can go away. Uh, quest we've got to complete. Oh yeah. Um, so in ready to get ready for some of this stuff. I started sieving some netherrack. I hadn't even touched it yet. And I got the quest for completing that. So you can go off the edge, and so can the netherrack, because we've got all kinds of netherrack over there. And we're ready for our next bit of business, which is um, the fractioning steel. Light engineering block, we're going to need a heavy engineering block, which I don't... Wait, I should have? Uh, did I not just have some of those? I didn't use all of them. Uh, this guy 
I put them over here. Aha. So that, we've got that. The external heater is a bunch of copper stuff. And, of course, we've done the fluid tanks. We need how many of them? Two. I should have enough. Uh, oh, I got that on me. That's four and eight. And we'll do a half a stack of copper and I'm going to get some plates made. All right, so I believe we've got everything we need to do this now. Iron bars, two tanks, external heater. We need uh, a couple of sticks. That was way too many. I guess I should look that recipe a little bit better, but that's all right. And then I need some iron sheet metal. And that should give me what we need. External heater. And boom, there is our fractioning steel. And we will place this guy. We've got... Uh, I don't want to use that one. We should have another component somewhere. Um, right there. So we're going to place this guy on the end because we're going to need to be able to access some of the sides of this. And now with this, we can put in our volatile redstone. And it will give us substrate and we get destabilized redstone and redstone acid. All right, so we've got this guy set up now. Uh, we will output to the bottom. And that's got our substrate. That's got our redstone acid. That's got our destabilized redstone. And we got a squishy. Beautiful. And that is all there is. So, we still need a little bit more of this because we've only got enough for not even quite a bucket and we need a buckets worth I do believe for our quest so I need to get some more volatile redstone which was the acetylhyde and redstone which was the ethanol and the molten silver and we can do all of that so let me get us at least another buckets worth all right so we are back uh, I had to go through the whole process of making silver for this. So it took a little while for me to get done. So, but we've got our liquid destabilized. And we've got our redstone acid. Both quests now complete. This is going to give us a lot more silver and some redstone, which is nice. And we can move on to our next bit of business, which is going to be... We need to make our force sapling. We need sprinkling dust, mystical yellow petals, and we can do all that. Uh, let's put this guy here, this guy here. Um, for the moment, let's just go ahead and... We'll throw these in here for the moment. Uh, we need sprinkling dust. We've got a couple of sprinkling shards steel. He picked that up. We need our flower pouch. We have enough yellow flowers for it. No, we do not. Uh, do I have any bone meal still over here? I do not. All right. Let's 
What did I do with... What did I do with them? I lost them. I didn't lose them. I planted them. So now we've got what we need, which is three of them. We can put the rest of these in here. We don't have those anywhere else, do we? No, just there. Uh, our sprinkling dust should be done. And so sh we've got a mineral sapling. So now we should be able to do this just fine. One, two, three. Sprinkling dust. And... Beautiful. We've got our force sapling. That gives us absolutely nothing. So my question now becomes, how easy is this going to be to get saplings from? So that's, that's the next item up for business. And then we'll get into our pyrolyzer so we can get our next bit. Now, with all of this, we're going to be able to look into... Well, that's a pretty tree. Um, we can do some other source links. I don't know why we need other source links. This has been ridiculous. We've got more saplings awesome that helps uh and these guys we put inside of the pyrolyzer i do believe it is okay pyrolyzer works like a coke oven but uses what's that liquid lptd force gym liquid force we get from force planks and golden power source and the golden power source we get from smelting the logs and we actually have a few of those because of wandering traders we've got four 15 35 yeah we're good all right so that's, um, we'll grow some more trees and then I'm going to look at the pyrolyzer. Well, I'm not going to grow them. I'm just going to plant them and let them grow. All right, so our pyrolyzer. This guy right here. Uh, Constantine gear, easy enough. Nether bricks, we've got that stuff. This should be real easy. So let me get to it. All right, so we're back. I should have now everything we need we do in order to do this quest complete and I don't necessarily want to use the resonant one do I have any others right there all right so our pyrolyzer we can just throw up that's not where I wanted it to go uh, we got, how are we doing on power? We're not bad, but I probably need to turn some on. All right, so we can come in here. That along with, uh, no, let's put those. So why, wait, uses. Force gym, liquid force. Oh, it's the planks. And that should get us the liquid force and the golden power source. And these guys are what we need for basically everything else. Beautiful. We just need to... 
get none of that. We're looking at the liquid crystallizer next, uh, and we can't do that. Mana diamonds we can do. Living rock we're good. We need to do the LDPE, which is polyethylene, and we need to do plastic. So plastic is our next round of what we need to do. All right, so if we go in here, let's go down to our latex processing unit. This doesn't look that bad. We're going to need some more buckets. We're going to need a bucket of water and a bucket of latex. And a piece of redstone one of our simple machine frames which we should have in oh I need inventory I got inventory oh I need to get it fixed that guy right there and that's a big guy so there's that Three, four five six seven eight there is our furnace and boom our latex processing unit. Beautiful. All right, so this guy, of course, we're not got access to be doing any kind of power anywhere. So right now, this is where we're going to put it. Um, and we're going to need a bucket of water and another bucket of latex. Actually, what we can do is take... Uh, no, we can't do that because we don't have enough tank for that. So that guy goes in there. This guy goes in there. And he's going to make tiny dry rubber and we're going to need a way of being able to keep giving this power now we have we have the sink but it doesn't I don't believe it is an infinite source of water in here it's cheap enough we can try it out and find out yeah um of course, if I had read the quest, we would known that, yeah, that's not going to work. All right, so I made the aqueous accumulator down here. And we've got uh, water in here all the time. And I went ahead and made another tank for over there and brought this tank over here. And we get it full up with that. And we've got our tiny dry rubber. Uh, so that will get us absolutely nothing as far as quest wise goes but we're ready to move on with our polyethylene and i think we'll wait till the next episode for that uh we'll get into the liquid crystallizer we'll look into force gems force infused biodiesel this will allow us to uh, get more uh, twice as much stress units as regular biodiesel, and I'm pretty sure them together, it's one biodiesel, one force gem, which is, that's not bad. Uh, and then we've still got to worry about mana. So, but yeah, um, quest we got complete. We've got, um, wait, we got one here for the latex processing that's going to give us eight tiny dry rubber. Uh, and we've got one for the sink, which gives us a fluid card and an axolotl. And that's it. So with that, we're moving right along. Uh, we've got the liquid ethylene next. All right. So, yeah, um, we're at the point for the liquid crystallizer. Um, we've got to get into the liquid ethylene, the polyethylene. The polyethylene will get us part one ish of what we need for our space suit and it'll get us to where we can get into our dissolution chamber and our simple machine frame and then the crystallizer we can use to 
make a bunch of stuff, which really we don't need any of that other than the ice is nice. And, of course, the Force Gems. So, but with that, that's all I got. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. I thank you for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!